However, in this video, we will see how to use a fiddler for a very first time. So, what is fiddler and why we use fiddler? Fiddler is a type of capture tool which we use to capture the HTTP uh, request from any of our software or browser or even from your remote machine or remote, I mean, the other machine is connected using a proxy. Okay, first open your fiddler. So, if, in, if you click on file, it will show the data the capture is now its network is capturing. If you don't want to capture network traffic, just uncheck this box. Click on that alt of capture traffic, now it's gone. If there is no tick mark, then it means that your fiddler is not capturing the traffic of anywhere. Okay, so now I'm enabling it. Just I'm enabling, after enabling it, just you can see a tick mark now here. Now, just I want to uh, see few requests here. As the very first time, just uh, refresh task in complete website and uh, we'll see the request here. So currently we are seeing only one request and the no dependency request here. The, the JavaScript, CSS and anything not seen here. So to see that all the requests, the problem is this HTTPS website. So this is HTTPS website. So if you have an HTTPS website, uh, then uh, you need to decrypt uh, you need to install a certificate from the fiddler into a root machine to see all the traffic from your HTTP websites. So click on this, double click on this request, double click on this request, you will see the HTTP decrypt is disabled. Just click on that. Uh, after clicking that, you will get a pop-up here and from this pop-up, select decrypt HTTPS traffic. Click decrypt, after clicking that, you will get a pop-up. You install a certificate, click yes. And there's another pop-up to import the certificate. Click yes and click yes. Now your certificate has installed to your group. So this is a point. It says that your the federal certificate has installed to trusted certificates and it's ready to capture all the I mean a handshake with the HTTP website websites. And we're coming to the decrypt response from which browser you want to uh, uh, capture the traffic. So I want from all the process, no matter whether it's a browser or the non-browser software. So I want to capture everything. Now click OK. Now click OK. Now we don't see any request, right? Just again refresh the page. Refresh the page. Yeah, I'm refreshing the page. Now we should see all the dependency requests of the task in the bid right? so This is the, uh, uh, all the dependency requests of task in the bid. What When I install the certificate, I can see the all dependency calls. So you can click on this. Uh, even you are installing a certificate, you cannot see the response because it's an encoder. The response is encoder. If you get a message like this, response body is encoded. Then click on that to go. Now you got the response of that request. So just task in the page. Uh, there is a simple request. So task in the page, and it's the headers of that uh, request, and there's a response part, and there's a re uh, request part. The upper part is a request. In the bottom bottom part is the response uh, information. So response cookies, uh, response headers, and uh, request headers, and uh, request raw information what is sent here. There's a host task in complete, and we are path we're going to simple path. And if you come to this, is the path we're going, and uh, this is a response we got from the server. This is a response we got from the server. If your response to JSON, close to JSON. It will show you the JSON format uh, and uh, XML. You can, it, it will help you the XML viewer. That's it. And the headers of a response and the raw body of your response. Okay, this is how we need to uh, capture. We can use our Fiddler to capture that uh, network traffic from any of your software. So if you have any of the software running in your machine, if that is doing a call, then uh, the soft, even that software calls will be uh, added into this. Uh, uh, traffic. The fiddler will capture all the HTTP calls. It will not capture the TCP, it will capture all HTTP calls. And if you want to apply any rules, any filters here, so just you want to hide the images, click on here, it will hide images. Connect calls. So you will have a connect calls here. So currently we don't have any connect, connect calls. So if you uncheck this, we should not have any connect calls. So if you have any connect calls, it will, uh, uh, it will uh, hide the uh, uh, connect calls and we can apply the uh, rules, uh, customized rules. We can apply the customized rules to uh, disable to avoid uh, uh, JSS, CSS request in our developer tool. So we can add your uh, code here. You can add your code here and we can up click apply, then it, it will work. 
Okay, this is how we need to use in uh, time for living in 